Hello everyone, my name is Asisi Pombingeleli and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video guys, we are going to be answering a few exam questions on human evolution. So, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel guys, please kindly hit that subscribe button, like the video, comment down below and please share the link with your classmates, schoolmates and your friends. Let's look at the first questions. Um... Let's look at the first question, rather, sorry. Humans are bipedal organisms. What is meant by bipedalism? What is meant by that? So that's basically walking on two legs. Okay, explain how each of the following skeletal structures have contributed to bipedalism in humans for two marks. So the foramen magnum um, obviously moved to a more moved to a more forward position to allow the spinal cord to enter vertically to allow the spinal cord to enter vertically okay with the pelvic giggle it is short and wide it is short and wide um, to support the upper body to support the upper body okay with the spine, you could say it's more curved or it is S-shaped, S-shaped rather, more curved or you can say it's S-shaped to absorb shock or um, you can say to allow flexible movement, to allow flexible movement remember in your explain kind of a question guys that is two marks so it's obviously um, a cause and effect so the cause and the effect um, of that particular cause in order for you to get a mark so the cause here is the spine is s-shaped and the effect of that s-shaped is obviously to absorb shock or to allow flexible movement Let's move to the next question. Um, the diagram below shows uh, the skulls of two species of primates. Tabulate for seven marks. Tabulate three observable. This is what um, we should be seeing, right? This is what. We... First question. Tabulate three observable observable differences between skull one and skull two that show trends in human evolution okay so um this is our table we're going to draw our table and remember you need to use a ruler to draw your table um the table will need to have a caption um a table showing three differences between skull one and two whether you add the, the 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 last part about trends in human evolution or not i guess it doesn't matter right then in your table the first column will be information about skull one and the second column it's information about skull two so that means each column needs to have a heading easy piece of stuff then um we can speak about brow ridges and remember guys in the same row you speak about the same characteristics so if these are the rows right in this row the first point if we speak about brow ridges for skull a that means we need to obviously speak about brow ridges for skull two in the same row so with skull one the brow ridges are pronounced pronounced um 
then with skull two brow ridges are less pronounced then we can speak about jaws more protruding jaws more protruding jaws um, or you could have said prognathus Pro, prognathus rather prognathus then for skull two less protruding jaws or none prognathus okay um we can talk about um let's see maybe i can squeeze in another one here remember your table will need to be neat guys i'm not using a ruler here but your table will need to be neat um then you can talk about jaws again in terms of their size um larger jaws for skull one and smaller jaws for skull two um you can talk about the face sloping face for skull one and flat face for skull two um we can talk about uh, teeth the canines or uh, we can also talk about the cranium size so skull one smaller cranium size um and skull two larger cranium size mm, i don't have space guys but with skull one we can also talk about um the chin skull one poorly developed chin and in skull two well developed chin so i don't have space okay the reason you are having seven marks the first mark is for the heading and the table so the table needs to be there and your heading you get that one mark free then six marks is obviously for the points for comparison two seven uh 27 two give four characteristics of the upper limbs that humans share with other primates four of them we can talk about long upper arms long upper arms um another one um freely rotating arms freely rotating arms um maybe let me try and use the space here um we can talk about rotation around elbow joints rotation around elbow joints um rotation around the wrists rotation around the wrists um we can talk about opposable opposable thumbs opposable thumbs um we can talk about five fingers fingerprints present that is also um a mark explain <laughs> i don't have space explain how an increase in cranial volume is related to intelligence for three marks let me use a different color um for three marks so since the cranium houses the brain a larger cranial volume indicates a larger brain or more brain cells which obviously suggests greater intelligence okay so since the cranium houses the brain the larger cranial volume indicates a larger brain or you could have said um, more brain cells which suggests 
greater intelligence. That's it.